I crossed from Wisconsin into Minnesota a few hours back, and now it's a little before nine, and I am at the Eagle Mountain Trailhead. I've got my self-issuing permit here. I'm going to fill that out, and I'm just going to camp out in my car tonight and get up early and go to the high point. We'll see if I get up early enough to catch the sunrise from up there, but at the very least, I'll be up there pretty early in the day. It is about 6 a.m., still dark here. I'm going to see if I can catch dawn on the top. It's about 3.6 miles. I'm light on gear, so I might actually be able to make that in an hour and 15 minutes or so until dawn. I'm going to start at the signpost here, and we can also check out the map. So, we're right here at entry point 79, parked right there. This is the route, and that is about 3.6 miles. Let's go. Permits required. I got my permit. Some ice and some frost on the ground. I actually didn't start with my micro spikes on this morning. I figured it would be a mixed bag and I would stop and put them on if I needed them, but it looked like I was gonna be walking on a lot of rocks, so I didn't wanna wear the micro spikes if I thought I could get around on rocks mostly. So, so far that has been proven to be the case, but I'm not even half a mile in yet, so we'll see. The raincoat has a hard outer shell, making me too hot. So I had to take that off. I don't even think I'm a mile in, so that was a bad call. So I guess that's be bold, start cold, one, me, zero. Um, also going to take these off. There's enough ice where I want to be able to catch in ice with the poles. Not going to put my micro spikes on yet. I guess we'll see if it gets icier as I get up. Started to actually get some slope here. It's been up and down. I think the total elevation gain is only like 600, 700 feet, so it's not really that bad today. Got a frosted over bridge here. slippery but if I take my time I should be okay. The water down here is actually crusted over but not frozen. Well, I guess I'm now in the Superior National Forest. <laughs> Ooh, we got a balance beam here. Check this out. All right going in this water would be a very bad thing so okay let's see here. Underneath is good to put my poles on. So let's just go. Okay, easy enough. I'm not sure if this is a fork or not. This looks like the main path. I guess I'll go this way a little bit and check the map. Per the map, I am good. It even had that smaller cross path on there. With two miles to go, I'm not sure I'm gonna make it to the high point by sunrise, but we'll push on and see. Oh boy. I don't see a way around this. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, the ice on top of the wood is actually totally solid because the wood is holding it up. All right. I don't know. Still got more than a mile to go. It's close. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it. I'm trying to pick up the pace a little bit here to see if I can catch the sunrise. Oh, I can't really push the pace on these frosted bridges. These ice patches are slowing me down too. Oh, snow. I was not expecting snow. Oh wow, that's gonna be beautiful on the way down. The path here runs along the shore of Whale Lake to my right over there. It's pretty tight and gnarly. Lots of roots, lots of rocks. All right, we got a sign pointing us up to the summit here. And another one going over to Brule Lake. Doesn't look like there's a lot of climb from here, but this clearly is where the 
last stretch of upward begins. Looks like a lot of the effort of this high point is right at the end here. I think that the first time I'm actually breathing hard enough to not talk comfortably. Lots of water and ice on this last stretch here, but still plenty of dry rocks to walk on. Although we've got a nice little view here, this is not the peak. Still about half a mile that way. Now, given the foliage, this may be my best vantage point of sunrise. From that point, it was like 0.4 miles. So the path just continues straight for a bit and then basically does a J. So it, it loops around about 180 degrees on a short little curve and that'll put me right at the high point. Over that way is a little view. I think I'll check that out on the way back. But the path itself appears to go up this way. So the high point should be right over there somewhere. Kind of hard to follow what's a trail here and what isn't. Pretty much walking on rocks wherever I go. That does look like a trail there. It looks like that's a little higher than where I am now. Let's go check it out. Got more of this crystalline forest and I see the high point plaque right over there. Ah, here we are at Eagle Mountain. Let's find the USGS marker. Oh, there it is, right behind the sign. Well, this morning at the high point, we've got a crystalline winter forest. Now let's go check out that overlook. I lucked out on the weather today. Yesterday in Michigan, I had fog at the high point. Today, I got nothing but clear skies. That rock there looks like the overlook that this route takes me to. It's actually a little like thumb off of the main route. And the main route's over there, sort of curves around like that. Although this area here is pretty much all rock. So it's sort of hard to figure out where the path is. But I think if you follow the map, goes around this bend, up there to the high point, up that way. And then there's this little segment off here to the overlook. And I just, I actually just cut them off the rock here. I think that, I mean, that looks like a path. In any case, it's all rock, so. As much as I'm enjoying this view, I think it's time to head back down. At this point, I think I'm committed to not bothering with the spikes, but this part is one part where it'd be nice to have them. I could just walk right down the ice and be quick about it. Instead, I'm sort of perching on the rocks as I go down each step. Coming down, the temp is still low, but I'm getting hot. I'm back down to the planks that actually go into the water here. Thought I'd get you a second view of this in the daylight. So the ice is on, the ice is right here on this one. It's like right on top of the wood. So that's the one that I'm using to walk across back to the balance beam bridge here. Less than a mile to go here and I'm definitely breaking the don't get sweaty rule. If I weren't heading back to the car I would definitely stop to change. Wouldn't want to get sweaty when I'm still camping out another night. But 
since I'm heading back to the car and in the interest of time, I'm just gonna press on. Back at the trailhead. They got this nice picnic table that happens to be in the sun, so I'm gonna heat up some tea, heat up some of the burritos I had in the car. Uh, the trip overall was really good. Uh, I'd say if you're coming here at the end of December when there's no snow on the ground, micro spikes are probably not a bad idea. I didn't need them, but good to have. There were a couple places where the bridges were a little treacherous. That one place where there was like a balance beam, the other place where it dipped into the water. Uh, but overall, good trip. Got Minnesota in the books.